who are sovereignty over the nations of the world. He changes the times and the system. He removes kings and sets up kings. To him be all the glory for the completion of the middle milestone on the path to leadership succession and the new administration in Nigeria. The June 18, 2022, the gubernatorial election was peacefully conducted in the state with a large turnout of eligible voters who freely voted for their preferred candidates and parties. Yesterday, the Kitikete spoke, and your collective voice was heard. It was unequivocal and unprecedented, history making in many ways. Earlier today, the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC officially announced that my party, the All Progressive Congress, APC, secured the majority of votes and fulfilled all conditions effectively affirming your choice and returning me, Biodun Abayongu Oyebangi, as your governor-elect, and she, Mrs. Monisa Diafuye, as your deputy governor-elect. I, together with she, Mrs. Afuye, use this opportunity to express our gratitude to everyone who voted for us. We also recognize all those who did not vote for us, but whose participation in this important democratic ritual of the election enriched the process, especially with the gracious manner in which you accepted the outcome and helped maintain the peace during and after the exercise. We are hopeful that though we did not have your vote at this time, we will hand your trust and cooperation as we begin the journey of keeping Ekiti State working. Ekiti Kete, we are grateful for the privilege you have given to us to bear your sacred mandate at this crucial time in history. We recognize that on October 16, 2022, when by the grace of God, you will be inaugurated into office. We are expected to immediately start to build on the legacies of those who came before us and honorably govern our state in trust for the generations coming after us. It is a duty we can pay for and accept with all sol solemnity and responsibility. In keeping with our covenant with you, we will work together with you to keep it work. I thank all other aspirants and their respective political parties for the dignified way they carried out their campaign and for contributing to the credibility of the process. I will be seeking audience with you all in the coming days to benefit from your wealth of idea on how to develop our dear state, to complement our vision and blueprint for the accelerated development of the country. You have all performed credibly and earned places of honor in the history of our dear state. I thank our leaders, our dear president, His Excellency Mohamed Buhari, GCFR, the national chairman of our great party, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, as well as our presidential candidate, for the 2023 general election, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, for this way deserves victory for a party you supported us to achieve, and which hopefully signals what we expect in Oshun next month and the general elections next year. I thank all members of the National Working Committee of our party. I thank the Progressive Governors Forum, the Chairman of, of the State Gubernatorial Campaign Council, H.G. Governor Tiku Bagudu of Kebi State, as well as all members of the council for graciously supporting us to achieve this initial <coughs> I thank our leader, His Excellency Otumbani Yadebayo, COM, Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, and former Governor of the States, His Excellency Dr. Kayo Bifayemi, COM, Governor of the States, and his wife, Erelu Bisi Fayemi. And His Excellency Otumba B.C. Egbeyemi, Deputy Governor of the State, for their leadership and for laying a foundation for us to build on. I thank Barista Paul Omatosho, the Chairman of APC, Equity State, Equity State Working Committee members, all members of the State Central Working Committee, our traditional rulers, and all our leaders and members across the state. I thank the Director General of the Biodun Abayomi Oyebangi Campaign Organization, Mr. Siri Fashuri, 
and all members of the campaign council and directorate. I also thank our youth groups, our women groups, market women, our volunteers, especially the Bao Anchor Group, and all the support groups at home and in diaspora who have supported us in one way or the other. My gratitude also goes to our security agency and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for superintending over a free and fair exercise and for maintaining the peace in the state. I thank, uh, I thank again our revived traditional rulers and the leaders of faith for their prayers, counsel, and guidance. To the ladies and gentlemen of the press, I thank you for being presentable patrons and living up to your high calling. I count on your continued support. Last but not the least, I thank my family, I thank my father, for his duty at Kuno River Chief, and my sibling for their unwavering support. I celebrate in memory of my dear, of my late mother, late Madame Esther, the first of the River Chief, and honor her memory for all her sacrifices to build character in me. I thank my children for their support and understanding. I also thank my darling wife for trusting me on this journey you have embarked on and for being the wind beneath my wings and a wavy feel of strength and peace. I love you and will forever cherish your love and heart for Amen. I use this opportunity to once again convey my condolences to the family of our kinsmen who died in the pocket of the election ballots. I join my voice, my voice with that of all well meaning executives to the call for full investigation into the incidences and ensure justice is done. In the coming days and weeks, a great party and the incumbent government of the Five Administration will be working towards finishing well and strong and completing key legacy projects. We are misled proud of the legacy our mentor and our leader will be leaving behind and thank him for his labor of love and sacrifice for the homeland. In the course of time, we will set up a transition committee in accordance with existing transition law and ensure a seamless transition and demonstrate our preparedness and clarity of vision with the effectiveness and efficiency with which we will put, with which we will hit the ground running on assumption of office. In the meantime, we will continue our consultation to see more input into a blueprint for a state. And we will, in the coming days, open formal channels through which you can send suggestions to us. We want to continue to listen to you and engage with you so that as we have promised, together with you, we will keep the state working. Thank you for listening. God bless the state. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.